So we have this lovely, what's his name? Chica. 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 Chico. Chica. Chica. So this is not my custom, this is Holly's custom, right? Because uh, I don't know if you remember, I had a shih tzu that was supposed to come today, but I, f but I forgot to tell her that we changed the date from the 18th to the 30th. So bless her, she came on the 18th. Uh, and I groomed in life anyway, I groomed that shih tzu, if you remember. Just remember, only the tiniest, I've done this here. Right, so tiniest. always, you, you know, so we do just uh, pet grooming, pet yeah? Grooming, yeah. So, you know, I have two rules. I don't know the girls what rules I have, but Holly shares the same rules because we've been trained together. But Holly, why don't you come here? <laughs> um, my rule is also safety of the dog, like everyone, and listen what the customer wants. Yep. Yeah? So, always. Always, always, there's the rules. If you want to have customers, you need to have these two, uh, two rules, you know. Um, the safety, when the dog comes in the salon, is basically your dog. So you have to look after the dog, you know, like it's your dog, you know, because customers trust you with their own dogs, yeah? And safety is the most important thing. Uh, and then it's what the customers want, you know. So this is Chico. Uh, the customers, like I prefer, the I don't know how you, Cheryl, prefer, but I prefer the tail a little bit shorter. Because oh, I do, I like to take the tail a little bit shorter. Yes. This tail doesn't drag on the floor. Exactly, so this tail drags on the floor really, really bad. So I like actually to cut it where, where it touched the floor, basically. But the one who wants this tail as long as possible, so we do what, what he wants. Not, not just we want, what he wants, but yeah? that's probably because when he holds it up, it does look pretty. It does look pretty, it looks like a... Well, like a... Um, Bichon. Yeah, or Tibetan Terry. Or Tibetan Terry. Or Shitsu. Oh, Shitsu, yeah. Or Shitsu. Yeah. And also with the ears. They want long, long ears. Um, so we be just a tidy. With the ears, so we bath him and we use. Um, uh, also, it's very important, you know, when, when you buy your dryers, uh, you have different heads. So you need to know what the heads we have, you know? So we use a head for straightening the hair. Which we'll show when we I will show you when, uh, when we go to the prep area, yeah? So it's very important the head that you should know uh, the head. Or you can use also a straightener if you have, you have time. You know, I don't have time because I have to finish this dog, I don't know. I'm, I've never used straighteners, never. Yeah, I never the same. So I have an hour and a half maximum to finish this dog in the salon because I have another one. How long do you uh, keep your dog? We keep ours for two hours just so that we can we have two every in, two dogs in every half hour, so we keep them for two hours just so that we can bath them, put them in a the cabinet. If we're not ready, we put them in a cage for ten minutes. Just gives us time to make the salon work effectively and not keep the dog for massive. But if it's done earlier, we call the owner and they can pick up. So Cheryl, actually, Cheryl does how many dogs do you do by day? N now we only do maybe. 15, 16, I've slowed it down. 15, 16? How many well, are we did two? used to do, well, me and Chris as main groomers, then have an apprentice and uh, a junior. So there's four of us in the saddle when I'm in there. Um, but we, years ago, when I was younger, I did do silly amounts of dogs, but there wasn't as many groomers around. So you, you to keep your customers happy, you had to book them in. So we used to do big amounts. So she used to do around like 20, 30 dogs per day? Mad. Man. I don't do that anymore, it's horrible. Like, I do a max in five dogs a day, to be honest. We have five groomers here, so everyone does five dogs each. Uh, it wasn't I think... like that when I worked here. You're yeah, cramming in as many dogs as possible. Well, it's a bath, we can squeeze it, you know. But... Yeah, yeah, if you're sensible with bookings, if you have a bath I'm very and sensitive. Dogs, <laughs> you can get the numbers in. I'm very sensitive. It's not it's sensitive, yeah, not sensible. I am sensitive and sensible. Anyway, I will take mine because it's really hot. So we have our lovely top groom team in tops. I don't. She doesn't. <laughs> but you never know, she might be in the groom team England one day. Okay. Yeah, because I never thought I would be in a team. And look at me now. So, always dream big, always dream big. Right, so Holly has done half of this side already. So he's a very short pet trim. He's, uh, what comb attachment was he on, Holly? Attached three, but with a blade five um, flat work. So, uh, attach three on the body. That means 10 millimeters. So she took the flat work from under the chin down to the shoulder blade with a 5F. Um, Why did you do that? Because his chest grows out quite quickly, okay. so I did it shorter. He's, very, he's a very long dog as well. Did you run this comb attachment down his legs? Yes. Completely, yeah. yeah. So, yes. so it's the same length, basically how we say it, the same length all over, you know. You can actually, if you want a full leg, you stop with the elbow and you do like a, I don't know how you do it, but I do like a I schnauzer. I would ordinarily stop. If, it, if 
if they wanted longer legs, I would stop just here. So all of this is comb attachment, and then I would blend all of this in with scissors. But what style would you do? Would you like a schnauzer or you would do like a, you know, they have like that poodle? Yeah, no, I would do a full trouser. Oh, full like trouser. A tube leg, yeah. Okay, do, so I you don't know. You see, I personally... I'll, I'll come down that. with the comb attachment. I wouldn't stop the comb attachment here. I would run the comb attachment okay. off. Okay, so you would give some angulation in the back? Yeah. Right, with so... Him, with him, I should say, mum's a dog walker, so he needs to be practical. He's so in out of mud every single day. Sh we, I would call this a short but fluffy all over. So they want the dog short, but they don't want it shaved. So. Yeah. so exactly. So if if you have different style, because you also you have to think of breed standard. What the breed standard Shih Tzu look like? Full coat. So basically, if you find, if you look up at the breed standard, it says full coat. So basically, you can do whatever because it doesn't have a breed standard like you yeah, know like it's a, just like a, a petrine. yeah petrim. You, you can do whatever you want with the Shih Tzu. Because the breath standard is long, you are not allowed to cut with the clippers, yeah? So that means you can do whatever you want. There's no rule with the Shih Tzu what to do. Like people are like, oh no, you should have long legs. No, you shouldn't have, you should do whatever you want to do, you know? It's a pet and you can do it. This is why I said also to my students and everything, I said, pet grooming doesn't have rules, you know? You can do whatever you want, you can do whatever customers tell you to do, you know? So it's no rule, it's no wrong or right in pet grooming, yeah? You do follow the breath standards, but it's no wrong. If I do a, shih tzu, a schnauzer with a schnauzer body, but they want teddy bear face, you know? So this is what they want, you know? So I don't follow. I follow the breed standard on a body, but not on the face. So it's no wrong or right, yeah? So it, it depends what your client wants, doesn't it? Exactly. Depends what the client wants, yeah? Right, so we will start. First we do... Uh, because a lot of people say, like, oh, how do you keep the ears long? Or what do you do to the ears? I personally, when I have a dog with long ears, I don't touch the ears. I don't know how you do it. I, I, know, I would just take the very, the very, very ends off, just to take the sort of scraggly bits off, straight. Across. It's what actually exactly again what the customers say. Oh, yeah. I will ask him. Do you some, want them? Some customers say don't touch the ears, yeah. and they're really long. Yeah. So again, it's what the customer says. Um, like I did a, a small bit of this. So side. she did. She trimmed a little bit on the on the on the ears. Right. So we will start quickly to do the body. Um, like everyone knows, I am Artero, yeah. But Cheryl and um, uh, Holly, Holly, <laughs> <laughs> Holly, they use different clippers and everything. Uh, they yeah. use, she... I like the Oster Pro. That's my favourite clipper. Um, and I'm really old, old school with my comb attachments. I like um, they're plastic and they lorb. They're an American brand. We are slowly moving over to these, but um, yeah, I use plastic ones. So not the, we have the a metal. With a forty underneath. With a forty. So I have a forty oh, wow. underneath a plastic comb attachment. Let me see if I have one here. Do you want right, me to so give you another comb attachment that's not bent? No, I have here. Mm -hmm. I have Artero attachments, darling. Oh, congratulations. No, I don't. Um. So I use under attachment. I use blade thirty. I always use blade thirty. I used to use blade ten, but now I use blade thirty. I found it like so. Sometimes when it's matted, it goes much easier. Under the coat. And also when you use blade 30, it's basically shorter, yeah? It uh, gives a nicer finish as well, a much yeah. neater finish. You just have to be careful, never use a broken blade, one that's got a broken tooth. I personally don't do that. You see, I do. Yeah, see, I won't. Why? Have you ever had an accident? No. It's not no. nice. So if you use a broken tooth under one of them, oh my God, it, it can rip the skin. What, if, if the attachment fall off or what? Just, if, the, if you've got a dog with loose skin and it goes... Yeah. Oh, it goes into the... Oh, okay. Yeah. So if it has like a... Just be careful. Wrinkly you skin. Yeah, so you should know. I, you see, I use... If I have a uh, blade 30 um, with a broken tooth, I will use on attachment. But, you know, uh, Don wants to be in your video. I just probably hit the wrong button. Yeah. You want to be here with us, Dawn? Right, so when I start... I will, you can, you can come and see. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Kosky likes to do things uh, his way, but yeah, no, Sally said she won't use a broken blade either for anything. So. Oh, okay. Good girl, Sally. And hi, Janet, by the way, as well. Hello. Hi, guys. Right, so when I started, I don't know how you started, I always start doing my neck and then put straight away the neck nose. Yep. Dawn, you saying she hit the wrong button. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so I always uh, safety note all the time. And when I buff my dog, I always... When I put the dog in the bath, 
I always uh, have a plan, and then when I bath and think, and think, what should I do next? So after that, I dry him, uh, I put him on the table, do pads, hygienic area, and start to clip, and then do the face, you know? That was hygiene area, for uh, anybody that didn't understand that. Hygiene area. Hygiene area. Hygiene! Uh, <laughs> so I do the hygiene, so I always have a plan. It's very important to have a plan. Yes, it? yeah. Know, where you're no, know what you're doing, where you're going, otherwise, you end up in a muddle. And also you lose time. And yeah. it's very important timing. Timing in a salon, especially if you have a, sal a busy salon, timing is very important. That's why I try to say to Holly, because Holly doesn't work for me anymore. <laughs> she starts to have her own business and then she does like bloody three dogs a day. Yeah. And she's so tired. But I want a quality for my... Ah, uh, uh, shut my... up, your quality. <laughs> two and a half hours for a bloody dog. It's ridiculous. I don't do two and a half hours. How long do you do? Hour and a half, ah, hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. We understand. Thank you. Thank right. you. You understand me. I don't. I know. I'm the best. Would you understand <laughs> me or her? Right. So I always start with the neck. Yeah. Do yep. You? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I take the neck nose. Start with the neck. <gasps> Thanks, Elizabeth. It was silly this one. <laughs> well done, Holly. No. Oh. <laughs> right. So I lift, I put the ear in the front of, so I don't uh, cut the ear. And I do my neck, no, neckline. I used to have a Shih Tzu, well I still have him, and he was so well behaved, like really well behaved. He never, I never had problems, so I was like, oh, he'll be fine, I don't need to put the neck nose when I clip him. What do you think, Next, straight away he jumped in the bloody head. So since then, I'm really, really, Panicking. I always, always say to my people like, you need to put your neck nurses. It's very important safety on the clip. She's watching me because it's her dog. Because yeah, you haven't done the blade five. That's all. Yeah, but I'm doing the neck first. Yeah. You know, if you do reverse, it's actually is it blade five? Is it reverse? Seven. On a flat work, she does. You do a five, don't you? Yeah. Right. So we'll use a blade five. Can you hold him, please? Oh. Put the numbers back. Oh. He also doesn't listen, just saying. I do listen. Three times we've said this. Right, we'll use a blade five. So, flat work, when we call, talk about flat work, is basically, basically, if you listen flat, it's from the back of the ear, right down to the shoulder, you expose the muscle, and you stop where the elbow. And then you have all this in the front, that's the flat work. Yeah, normally. But with the shit, so you want to be careful, don't you? Because the, the hair will change Yeah. just under here. Like every single dog, actually. All the dogs, when you look, the hair here wait, 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 goes down and then the hair here goes up. So sometimes when you clip with the blade seven, you have more okay. patches here. Just because the hair, basically here, you go reverse. And the clients never understand that. And they go, why is he bald here? And you're like, oh, oh. And then and you have to explain it. And yes, I am supervising him, Elizabeth, and I have to, because did you notice how we just said blade seven as well? Mm. When uh, it actually it has to be a blade five or I will kill him. I do blade five, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing here as well, Costi. Yeah, so normally I go exactly nowhere, where's the V into the neck? Just under, just, yeah, just under the jaw. Yeah, under the jaw, the, where's the V? It yeah. gives them a little bit more of a sharper head. Otherwise, they look a little bit fat in the neck, don't they? Yeah. And also, by taking it quite short here, you don't need to scissor a lot. And you know, when you, the dog puts the neck down, you have all that hair here, yeah. you know? So, yeah. But I can see that Holly didn't do that, so it was quite hairy here. I didn't. I left it for you. Oh, yeah. I left it for me now. See, I planned, I planned. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't do that. I do it by scissor, so I've learned something already. Well, you oh, see, yeah. always you have to always work smart learning. and learning and by work smart. The yeah. more you do with the clippers and the less you use the scissors, the faster you finish your dog and the faster, the more dogs you can bring in the salon and the more money you can make. You see, I it first. Costa just taught me something. It's one thing actually, because I've heard groomers who've been doing it 30 plus years, whatever, say, you know, I've been doing this so many years. And I actually think it's really damaging to do that because you, one, you, you undermine new people coming in that have, have what they There's learned. no way it's all the it? time coming exactly. out. Exactly, yeah. it's so important to always, if you're not learning, you shouldn't be I've learned so much more since I started competing in 2015 than I did all those years prior. You get stuck in a rut and what? I think 
you have to push yourself and go out and watch these competitions to learn new techniques and watch as many webinars or go to as many seminars as you can because every, you can take something from every single one. You might go, well, that was rubbish and only learn one thing, but that one thing might save you time and earn you money. So always push yourself to go and learn more. That's yeah. what I think anyway. You're never too old, you're never too experienced. And then, like I said, like she said, if you take 1% one, 1 of someone, it's perfect, you know? Yeah, yeah so I can't find my, my other comb, so I use this one. Right. Would you like to use mine? Uh, do you want me to go and So I, she, I have this one, and then, um... Uh, Cheryl! Cheryl. Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> I've driven from Chichester today to do this for Costi, <laughs> and he forgot my name. <laughs> he does it to everyone, you wait till he cut, starts calling you, like, balloon, I'm balloon sorry, person. I'm really bad with names, but, but it's... Why does your mom call you? <laughs> she doesn't know why I call her Shirley. Shirley. So she has a sure. greyhound. Uh, greyhounds are really good. With good. Uh, I love my cat. Yeah, yeah, she loves her comb, and I like the coloring actually. I use, of course, my well, terror. Uh, I also had one like this. Yeah. And it was a techno groom, I think. I like them. And this this one I, I like. The only thing I, I like, I like the roundness. I can't. I'm yeah, not you really, can grip. You can grip one. better yes. with yeah. the round one, no? Yeah, I do like the. Th that round one. Yeah, like I prefer. Get a better grip. Yeah. But I'm just used to this. I'm comfortable with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the time, you you know, be comfortable. Use product uh, tools that you are comfortable. You don't need to change them just because someone oh someone used them or something. Yeah. Like that. And be you change something if you are not happy with the product that you're using. And all the time, I always people like uh, try them. Try them first. You know, don't buy them. Try them. See how they are in your hand. You know. So Sally says she loves learning new methods and she may not use them all, but knowledge is power, which is absolutely right. 100%. 100%. And Janet Rabbi says, um, great way of raising money for Groom Team England. Have a great day. Lovely to hear from you, Cheryl. Ah, oh, thank you, Janet. And from me? And the no? sun is shining. And me, hello. I could be on the beach in my bikini. <laughs> yeah, she comes all the way from the sunny. I took all the way from her caravan. Oh. It's a nice caravan. Trouble a caravan. <laughs> anyway, so I go down on, on the body, on the back. You work very, very fast. I, work, I really work really fast. You don't work really fast. Yeah, you? not that fast, but yeah. Okay, right, so I learn how. I, this is, you know, I love. So because I'm really, no, but I'm really busy all the time. So the thing is like, I'm really busy and, and, and they are late. So I have to finish my dog really fast so then I can help everyone so no one can be late with the dog. So I learned how, I don't know, I learned, I work fast. So down on the back and then down slowly, slowly go round into the... Watch the coat, the way the coat grows. Yes, always, always. If this dog had fuller legs, you would obviously have more hair here. You could scoop out this back end for a little bit more angulation. Yeah, I hate when people leave a full leg completely like shit, you know, when they have like an Asian. Lots of hair here. And they leave lots of hair here. They don't give them angulation. And it's very important a dog to have a nice angulation. Yeah? So people, they stop here and they make that round, massive hair. I, or they'll, oh. they'll leave more hair at the back end to create angulation and that's not what you want to do because then you make the dog appear longer. So you start your angulation, take it nice and short here and then build it up at the front of the back leg. Yeah. So I, you, I don't know whether you want to know this, but Victoria Morley says, watching you guys on the way to the beach with my three standard poodles. Thanks um, for that. <laughs> Victoria, you don't want me to be horrible. Do you want me to, to have the uh, dancing of the rain? Don't so, worry, he is I, horrible and you don't want to see him dancing. Oh, mm. <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> anyway, so I'll go down. So I like to see angulation. So exactly where the, bend, the leg bends, I will stop there. Good boy. So now because it's basically it's, a, it's all around, all of... Uh, um, it's attached free all over, but I can show you like a different thing, you know? So I come like a schnauz. Basically, when you think of the schnauz as a bird part, you come from the top up in a V, and then you blend this area. So then you leave this fuller, yeah? But this is a all around, same length all over. That's so, if you were doing two legs. Like I'll do a two leg, yeah. You can help me go here. Help I, you. I didn't pay you for coming here and look at what I'm you doing. You didn't pay me! <laughs> 
I pay you with I, love. I, I did this free of charge. <laughs> exactly. Pay you with love. He's such what? a user. <laughs> so go down. I always, and I know a lot of people that do, I always, if I do attach three, attach for any attachment on the body, I like to take short on the belly and inside of the legs. You know, one, uh, no one brushed it. Two, the shorter is, the cooler in summer is, and the dry, fast dry in the winter it is. So I always take shorter than, than uh, outside, yeah? So I will go maybe reverse three on the belly. When he says no one brushed it, we did. You're saying that at home. No we customer. Yes. I mean, yes. customer. I that. I still understand. They understand. We don't understand you. No one does. This is Koski's concentration face. <laughs> you see how horrible it is with me? I'm so lovely with both of them. Like, really lovely. I try my best to be lovely with them. They're really horrible. Their best isn't very good. They're really, really. Let's see what I feel so harassed by them all the time. So I'm doing a touch the all over, yeah? When I do the inside. Reverse three. Is that the blue comb attachment? Yes. yes, it is. Yes, yes. yes. Sorry, oh, that. sorry. It's all right. Uh, just write after it. one, they're all black. So I learn now with the numbers. But where's the blue one? Oh, we just have it. Yeah, it's the blue. I used to learn because it's on the wall one, so I used to learn by, by colors, you know? But if you are struggling to remember, what you can do, what my girls do, is they have a chart on the wall and it says what well, each color, the millimeter is, um, one in this one and the other comb attached that we use so that we know which one to pick up. So you can always just have a printout stuck on your wall just to remind you. Yeah. Uh, I use high -end clippers, but I have heard that they are excellent. How do they think they compare? Right, I did a video before. They are faster. They last longer battery-wise. Uh, they are 10 millimeter, no, 10 grams heavier than, than, a, than a Heininger. You'll see, I, ha I had a video on, if you look on my Facebook page, uh, and put uh, heat and artero, heat and artero. I yeah. use Heininger in the salon as well as the Osta, so I'll have a look at them and see what... What, they are really fast because I work really fast. I really fast. Right, so Holly's top is actually from Transgroom. What is it? Yeah, it's the Transgroom. Oh, I love them. They're my favorite top. Yeah, Tra yeah. Uh, Tika is a, a brand from, uh, from Transgroom. From Kitty's. Kitty's one. Yeah. The only thing what I don't like, they, they, zip. they zip in the back. They I zip can't. right in the back, so I don't like that. I, don't I love like, these, I they're really stylish. I like, I like the look of That's this a good is, idea, Cheryl. I love, oh, I this is Kosky's, not mine, I just used it. Yeah, this is for my girl, she comes in and steals all my stuff. Well, it's like that already come in and advertise my business, and I don't think you'd want that. I don't mind. But, uh, they're yeah. groomers, they're not clients anyway. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I don't know, they might want to come and use me. <laughs> right, so I'm going back to with me. So yeah, if you, if you, like Cheryl said, if you, if you want to, to don't forget your attachments, put like a board, put the number, the colors and, and, the, and the millimeters, and that will, you will never forget. So if you write down your notes, so like with us, I would write down a dog with a free cone. But for my girls, who might not know off the top of their what a free cone is, they can just look at the chart, free cone blue, or two cone peach, just like that. So when I do the inside of the legs, I lift the front leg here, like this, and I go on the belly, and then I put this in the back, and I do this right here. I learn myself to use you my... You do love yourself, yeah. I learn, I didn't oh, say sorry. that. So I learn myself to use my lefty also. You no, know, so I use the lefty on the inside. Always keep the dog's movement natural. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to put his leg out, only how he would do it naturally himself. So extend it out as far as he would in a stride. If you're lifting it outwards, don't be too far out. And you know, Not dogs, front, front legs, they always problem with the dogs. But look at him, you see? He doesn't pull. So if I pull like this, he will pull his leg back because it's painful, yeah? So always you think how the dog moves, yeah? Pippa Lily says that they love that you've uh, got the bottle of fizz still there and you should give it to the girls. I think you should give it to me personally, but there we are. Um, God, I want to fight. I think after that I will do like a ring here, girls, and we'll have a fight for the, for the, for the bottle. 
Uh, oh, and Shante says, uh, I'm scared of reverse clipping. I can't get my head around it. I never do reverse. I don't do reverse clipping. Yeah, I'm not a reverse clipper. I, I never learn, and I did once, and I don't really like I it. I find it really alien. I did it on a Yorkie the other day. It's a 7F clip-off, but it, look, it, it, it never clips nicely. It's a really fine coat. So I did a... 4F clip, reverse clip, to bring it to a 7 length, and it did look nice, but it took twice as long. I'd rather just go with the 7F. But I think what the, what she's, re sorry, she's referring to is that you've talked about reversing, if you were going to reverse the, the attached. The belly. belly. So you might, re yeah, you might reverse the belly, or I like sometimes reverse the inside of the leg. Yeah, I would reverse on the belly and inside of the legs, but I will not reverse on the jacket. The only time when I reverse, when, I, let's say, I'll use, I use like a blade for, and I don't like the lines, I will take an attachment. So if I use blade four, basically blade four is attached three. So I will take an attach five and I will reverse what I clip with the blade um, with the blade four to get rid of the lines. That's the only time when I will reverse on a dog. Yeah? I never reverse the inside of the front leg. Why do you do that? Oh, oh because it's easier. Look, like if I do that, this is shorter. So if I do reverse here, I go back straight to the blade seven, basically, yeah? I just find sometimes it helps with so that I don't... a bit more, or if you want to give it a bit more of a definition. Yeah, but also I'm not, I've been lazy, been lazy. Yeah. I don't want to start this, oh, and go and change. Easier, poof, reverse, yeah. and, and it's straight away it's shorter. So okay. it's timing. Again, another good tip. Yeah. Right, right, so the body's done. I All the time now, um, clip, comb, brush, comb. Comb, comb, comb. It's very important, the comb, yeah? Comb it's your friend forever. Don't leave a comb at home. But good prep work is needed to get a nice finish when you're clipping the dogs. So you must make sure that you've dried that coat thoroughly and got it as straight as you can. And clean. So that you can, exactly clean. So that you can then get a nice finish with the clipper. Um, rather than having to keep going over it yes. and going over it and going over it. Sorry, yes, I think you do, don't you use two, sorry, Elizabeth's asking, do you use two comb attachments up, two size, sizes up to the yeah. first clip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find if you only go one, one length up, it's shorter two. than, yeah, too short. Right, sorry. <laughs> I said before, when I will start, I will start my leg, um, I will always say before, the foundation of the grooming, of your grooming is the leg. Yep. If you have ugly feet, your grooming would be like, well, Peter Enter once said to me, um, it's like building a house, you start with the foundation, so you start at the bottom and work your way up. Yeah. I thought that was a good... good I tip. see a lot of people on Facebook and put the pictures and they have like uh, messy feet and like that, so it's very important to have that dog as tight as possible and nice fit, yeah? Yeah. What did you, what did you do on the body? Let's say so today. on the body I did attach three, uh, that is uh, 10 millimeters. Yeah, and then I reverse on the belly because I was lazy to change the blade. I go all the time shorter on the blade. Five eight Tracy. Yes, you can shorter do a five. On the belly. Yeah, five M F or sometimes I do seven. You know, right. Um, so the pads have been done on this dog prior to um, coming into the sort of clipping area. You've, and done, you've done that. Pads and nails have been done. And the hygienic area was done, no? And what did you do? What did you do your pads on? I always do mine on the shortest, on the Rivera yeah, yeah. or whatever I use right. that you yeah. use. So I use uh, um, I use number one. Number one, it's the shortest that uh, I have on this one. I think it's, this is like a thirty. Yep. Um, Let me see, because yeah. I've got the master clip and and the Rivera, and it's like a forty. I think it should be a 40 basically, but then I had this one and this one's they're much shorter. It's much shorter than that one. So I think this is I think a 40. Just, yeah, the shortest that you can get, yeah. being careful, minding the little webs in between the toes. What I noticed with this one, this is like a 40, and with this one sometimes they can bleed. Yeah. With this one, they don't bleed at all. So maybe that is a 30. So this I think is a 30, but it's really, really nice and so small. So if you're not so confident and you're a, a little newer to grooming, maybe use the, use the 30, which is, if you have the Bravura, which I think is, this, is a more universal one, it's the, the second one in. The, the second or the third? From the shortest, isn't it? Can I ask, if you didn't have trimmers, just because we've, we've been through phases where we, we haven't had them. We, we use, use a blade 40. 40. Yes. But would you use a 40? Would I would. A 30? I would use a 40, unless it was a rough, you know, you get some 40s that so they're really rough. Yeah. yeah. So then I would drop down to 30. Okay. But so I found 30 on the blade for pads, it's... 
still still rough compared with the. I think these are design special yeah, design. Yeah, they're a lot smoother for pads. They're more smoother yeah. and and they don't cut. Like I never cut with this one. I love my specs. I want to use them once. Oh, oh, they're really good. Are really really good. Um, so yeah, the the number four I'll use for hygienic area because it has one, two, three, four. Is it speeds? Oh no, no, it's not speeds. Like, like what is how you call this? Length. Length. So number four for hygienic area and number one for the pads. I found this. I use like when I, you know when you struggle with the poodle feet and, and you take all that hair and you stick have a. So I start to use this one. It's really good. Uh, so just just in case they are unaware, obviously not everybody's got these. So if you're using a normal blade to do a hygiene area, that would be something equivalent to a 10. ten. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Never ever shorter than a 10. If ever. You use a 7 if the dog is prone to clipper rash or the owners don't like to see their private parts. So use a 7 or use a 10 and it gives a really nice clean without the dog then itching and scratching. I always actually have, I don't know, I always have an antiseptic spray. Okay. Yeah. I always like, especially summer, because summer when you use also, well, you know, Lucille and Clyde your silver. Um, it's called Peace and Kindness, I think, from Christie's. Um, yeah. But I've never tried this, so maybe I'll give this a go yeah. too. So this is an antiseptic spray. So it's more summer because in summer you dry, you wash the dog with the warm water because you can't wash with the cold water, and the paw open because it's hot. When you start to clip it, and you clip with blade ten. The, uh, the pore they're open and it's so hot outside and when they go outside they start making, if they lick just once it's enough to have irritation you know so I always use an antiseptic in summer for all the dogs when I do the hygienic area always okay yeah so you do that after you've clipped your skin. after I clip yeah yeah it's like you know when I shave I don't shave but well I, when I shave here the same in winter I don't get irritated as much as in summer it dries the skin out as well yeah so. yeah because of the heat you know you sweat you know I was a blue, it was a, yes, it was a blue comb attachment, my love, yes, that's number 10 millimeters. Yeah, so, we'll give a close-up at the end of the length that it's given on this Shih Tzu. Yes, right, so, so we're going to uh, start with the back, back foot. Back foot, and then move to the front foot. I have so many bloody scissors, I'm searching for the one that I want. Fish and See, now I prefer to do my, around my feet with curved. Yeah, 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 I do curve also. If I find them. I often, when I'm doing, um, when I'm doing this side, I normally start this side, and I do, when I'm doing the feet, I'll do this foot completely, then I'll lift the opposite leg, because I find it easy to access to, to clear around mm. the hand underneath. I didn't do it because I knew... Say again, say again. So when I'm doing the, when I, so I clip off, yeah. and then I'll do this foot, yeah. clear it, tidy it, scissor around it, then I'll lift, I'll either go from the front here if it's a bigger dog or a shorter dog, I lift here and I clear the pads underneath here um, from this side because I find it easier to access yeah. from here. Or you can move on that side, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can. I'm you just can saying, move. I find that well, easier. Well, it does, yeah. Uh, that's an amazing tip. Lick, 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 lick. I don't know. Lucillin. Yeah, it's a Lucillin. good spray. Also, yeah. it's antiseptic. Anything that's antiseptic, you know. I used to use before, I used to use uh, from Yetka. Um, she has an uh, antiseptic also. Yeah. Uh, should we not be careful about applying sprays or anything classed as treatment in case it causes a reaction? Dawn is asking. Oh. These are all very mild products. Yeah, yeah, it's not like like a, a a vet one. It's very very mild, so it's antiseptic. What an antiseptic can do actually? Yeah. Well, well you should. Yeah, you, you have a point, nine. but I risk well, it. I've huh? never had an issue so far. So. Touch wood. Mm. I won't have an issue, but she does. That's what also I never had an issue. That's yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I never have problems. I don't. But I guess it's kind of like us using TCP or um, yeah. Dettol or um, some or Savlon on our ch on our skin or our children's skin. If they have a reaction, it's a risk. But then that's a reaction, a, a, a risk we use with using a shampoo. Even the yeah. sensitives, the dog yeah. have a reaction to. Uh, oh, Claire, she was just. Claire was going to ask about Lucillin spray. Yeah, I use Lucillin, by the Lucillin, way. Lucillin, Peace and Kindness, and the Artero Mix, and Yitka does one. Yeah, Nika does one. Well, yeah. So there are different brands, you know, what you like, you know, what. It's so many brands now. This is the thing also, like when Cheryl started like 200 years ago, <laughs> <laughs> she's like an antique person here, you know. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like, how do I call you normally? The, the old one. No, the old one. The, the ancient. So uh, Cheryl is like the ancient one here because she started 200 years ago. <laughs> was not so many products, you know? No, there wasn't. It was... But when I started 23 years ago, 
So I was really free, yeah. lucky. My salon that I learnt to groom, we had comb attachments. And I've heard from so many groomers that they never started using comb attachments until like five, seven, ten years ago. Oh, I was lucky. We had drawing cabinets. We had comb attachments. We had all the latest equipment. Just to let you so know. I was ahead of the times. When Cheryl started, there. she started with the, one of the most famous groomers in industry. Yeah, I did, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Richard Barker. Richard Barker. If you don't know, it's an amazing groomer. Uh, he he's not with us anymore. On, on Groom Team England, yeah. Yeah, so he was, uh, uh, his wife is amazing. She was in Groom Team England, Linda Barker. She's a poodle specialist, so she's amazing. So when she started, she started with one of the top groomers in the industry. I think, I would say in the world, actually. Yeah, because he was, he was very, very, very good. Very, very amazing. That's why I was he, lucky that I lived locally and I got an apprenticeship with him. And he offered me a job and that's where I stayed for the next eight years. So that's why I said, when she started, it was like, uh, well, she started with the good, because it was a lot of product, but... 20 years ago, you didn't have all these products, all these scissors, clippers, you know? So we are really, really lucky that we have choices to go and buy stuff that 20 years you didn't have, you know? Yeah. So you didn't have curls before, did you? No. It was I just a one, and I'm left-handed, so I, always, I had to use right-handed scissors. So I used to use a pair of rose lines. That was about as exciting as it got. You had rose lines, you had Joelle's. There were probably other brands, but nothing spectacular you had to you had these big heavy scissors that you had to use for everything yes look uh, lucille and yes uh, the same is antistatic oh uh, antistatic oh is it and it's antiseptic oh no sorry um yeah it's yeah. antiseptic right let me do this pet quickly because the more we chat we do right so i always brush down so before I used to do all around and I like to struggle. So what I do now, I do a line here on the back and then I take this corner and then I take this corner and then I will come from this pad here to the other pad. I found it also now doing this, with on my poodle feet, I don't make a, a mistake and I used to leave a lot of hair inside. So I'm trying to achieve like a poodle fit, like a, like a poodle, sorry, like a, a cat fit. So what I do, uh, I'm trying to lift all the hair from the floor. So I did, I, I took all the hair that's very close to the cat, yeah? Put the dog on the floor. The, and then I will try to create... Let me hold your tail. Thank you. I will try to create a, a wall first. So the wall is the size of... Uh, my blade. Always look what uh, what you cut, yeah. Good boy. Put Bailey on the other side. Yeah, it's so nice. Mm. Right, I think so it's the west thing. No, it's my boy. Oh. You can see. Oh, Ginny's the other side. Sorry. Ginny's in the other. Oh, yeah. 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 Let me come with you. Is she, can I get to the, get to the bathroom without her? So, yes, yeah, so she's going to Girls, I need some quiet a little bit, please. They're so noisy. I have my Kerry here, and uh, she's not great with other dogs. And yeah, Holly was going to take her cocker. She's a nightmare. Cocker spaniel. That wouldn't have ended well. Alright, so once I did my, my, uh, oh my god. Who's there? Hey, excuse me, guys. Once I did my wall, I will take all the corners, so I'm not lifting any hair from here, yeah. just the corners. This the Westie. Westie, shush. Let me, while Holly's not here, I'll read in case anybody's up, got any questions. Right. Uh, so I when always, you look, sorry. Uh, I always get annoying hair behind the front two nails. Behind the front. Behind the front two. So these two, yeah. yeah. I think she means like, here. Ah, okay, so what, yeah. So you can pull that back like this and clip that. Yeah, or scissor it. Or you can use a comb and I can do like this. Ah, there you go, yeah. And all the fingers, you see? Toes, he means. Toes, fingers. same shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will just cut them or you can clip it how Cheryl said. And then, voila. I need some nice curved scissors. Yeah. Artero do, actually, I have to say, Artero do some nice curves. So this is a magnum curve. It's really nice. But I used to use, I don't have it here. I don't know it Mandy is. Carr is also really, really knowledgeable and really good with what type of scissor would suit you for what, what your needs are. 
Yeah. What size is your curved scissor, please? So that's probably an eight. An eight inch. Eight inch. Can you hold this, please? Yeah. Eight inch is quite a large scissor. You can go with a seven. It's quite okay, a go with a seven, size. but I like a longer. I like longer scissors. I like longer it's scissors. It's not for everybody. So you see here, I bend it a little bit, yeah? So I lift. And then from there, I go into my, I always go from the back into my, into my wall. And then I just cut the corners. If you don't want to cut the corners with a straight, you can use a thin scissor. I have a curved thin scissor and I will use a thin scissor. See, you're so lucky because I'm left-handed and I use right-handed scissors, I struggle. So I can't just pick up a pair of curved huh. thinners or chunkers because they don't work for they me. They don't work for you, no? Yeah. But I do, I need to speak to Mandy because she did say that she could teach me how to switch over. Come on. So now I'm taking also, I'm taking everything that's in front of the tail, all this hair here, I will take it. And that will give you a little bit more angulation, actually, by taking all that hair. See, it goes you see? from that hip bone to that pin bone in a nice line there. And that's your angulation set. Yeah, if he has a longer, hair, more hair here, he will have a nice, uh, you can see more the angulation. So I'll move on the front. So this is like the cat foot, yeah? Nice and tight and elegant, yeah? This is what you want to achieve, yeah? I'm also left and use handle scissors. I also struggle. See, so she uses right handed scissors. Yeah. Yeah, like you. Yeah, it's an, it is really annoying because you tend to pull the blades. Um, but if you can, I mean, I really do want to. I just I haven't found the time to message Mandy. But if you want to, message Mandy Carr at Scissor Boutique and she will put you onto the right scissors to use that will help you to then switch from right to left. Again, I'll do the first line. I think I can do like this. Can I put the tail down now? Shall I move yeah. just a bit closer for you? Yeah, Can you guys sure. see? That there. Yeah. Right. Can no. you see better? Yeah. Wait, good boy. But. So you clean all I, the hair at the back all of the All the hair, and then I'm doing, I'm doing, because you can see how the pads, you see? So I'm cleaning also the corners, and then I will do the rest of the pads. From this corner to this corner. And I found this, especially when I do the poodle, my God. I used to have so much hair left on this side, inside of the leg. I was like, oh my God, it's so annoying. I have to scissor. But by doing this, I found it much easier and I don't lose, I don't lose time anymore. So from the back, where I clipped, with my highest point, I'm starting to create my wall. And I follow the shape of the, of the, of the pad, yeah? I lift the side and I'll do from here. And I go quite close to the nails, really, really close to the nails, but I don't want to expose them. Yeah, it's not a terrier, it's a Shih Tzu. So you should not sh expose the nails, oh. just in the owner ones. I always do that. I don't like it, I don't like it. I want it to be elegant. Well, I have a very bad habit of exposing nails. You see, I don't I like it. I, I don't want to do it, I just sometimes do it and then that's it then. It's so what you do, you just go close to the nails, but you don't go on the top of the nails, yeah? yeah? So it goes when you feel the nails and you stop there. And your comb, if you get, constantly use your comb to pull yeah. the hair down and exactly. out, you won't get all of that hair looking messy around the foot. You'll get a nice tight foot. Exactly. And then from there, once I did my wall, I check again the, the inside. I, I lift a little bit the corners. Good boy. And then I cut the corners, this hair that sticks out. And I'll see the inside. And actually, guys, these legs I do to all my dogs. All my dogs, you'll see, I have the same thing. That's a fox terrier, that's a shih tzu, that's a schnauzer. This I will apply to everything. Cockapoos, I will apply this to every single type of, of grooming. Yeah? The problem is, I found is also, is that people, they label the breed and then they're like, oh my God, I have to do a Westie. <gasps> what do I do a Westie? Oh my God, I have to do a Spaniel. What do I do a Spaniel? If you think uh, a Schnauzer, uh, all the grooming style, they're the same, just a little bit different. Because a Spaniel, 
actually is similar to a Westy style. Yeah. You know? Um, uh, what? Let's see, what else? What else? Quick, quick, quick. A Schnauzer is similar to a what? Fox Terrier, to a Kerry, you know? But different, like... The what? style, the style is the, the same. But most, most dogs, with, especially with their feet, you, you, you're aiming for a nice round foot. Yeah. Mm. So, so and is actually on that point, Elizabeth has said um, it's so annoying when some Shih Tzus have the longest nails ever. And oh yeah, and yeah. Like pointy rather than round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's all about the dog. Also, <laughs> it's all about the dog. You know, right? Because I, you have Shih Tzu when they have the leg like really bendy, like a heart, like this. My God, you know when this bone oh, goes yeah. really here? Yeah, yeah, oh my God, it's like... Oh, you or you have a Shih Tzu, this is really annoying, that they'll stand on the tip of their toes oh, yeah. to be trimmed, then they put their foot down and, and it's horrible. all yes. the shape because the dog stood the whole groom on its tiptoe. Mm. Right, so we can see a difference between the feet that I did and the feet that Holly did. Oh, they roll back. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we can see... Oh, the... No, 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 because uh, some people, they do the nails, you can see she exposed the nails. He was messing around as well when I did it. He and then I didn't expose them nails, you know. So I prefer this because you see they look a little prettier. Yours, are, yours is much better, yeah, definitely. But if you have a foot like this and but, you want to improve on it, you could now take your blenders, like your thin scissors, one second, and one. just tidy those at that area up. He was being a monkey for yeah, Holly. yeah. But she did expose more the nails that I. But again. It's preference. It's, again, it's no wrong or right. It's preference, yeah? If you like it like this or if you like it like that. It's, it's what you like, you know? As long as the dog is happy and you're doing exactly. a, a nice, neat job and your clients are happy. It's annoying when they're, yeah, they're fit. Right. I also noticed I managed to chunk into his cheek when I was trying to do his ear because he was shaking his but head But you'll disguise that nicely, that's not... <laughs> right, so when she did <laughs> the ear, the skinhead. <laughs> she shaved all of this here. I didn't show, he moved. Yeah, blame the dog, it not the groomer. It's totally his fault. Right, so Shih Tzu face. Again, what is Shih Tzu face? What is a Westy face? What is a Kokopo face? Round. Exactly. All of them, they will apply to every single dog. This is what I say. I was like, oh, Shih Tzu face. Oh my God, I don't know. Oh, Westy face. Oh my God, what do you do with Westy face? I don't know how to do a Westy face. Yes, you know. It's a round face. The only thing is the ears. Shizu face has drop ears, Westy face has pointy ears, but they will apply the same, yeah? So what I will do to this West Rushitsu, I will apply to a Westy, I will apply to a Kokopo, I will apply to every single dog. Don't label it, because the more you label it, the more it's like you're panicking. You put more stress on yourself, yeah. Exactly. So, is round heads, yeah? I learned this, it's not because I was the same, I was like, oh my god, a Westy, how should I do a Westy? But again, it's... The muzzle, the muzzle, if you have a longer muzzle, you struggle more. If you have a shorter muzzle, you, you finish faster. Uh, the texture of the coat, you know, because you have Westy with, and Shih Tzu. Well, I think you look at photos of Westies online and they, they've all been chalked up and they've got this beautiful, yeah. stood up, round head. You're never going to get that in the salon unless your clients don't mind you using products. Exactly. My clients, please don't send the dog home with chalk and hairspray on it because it gets matted and two days later it looks awful. So... I don't bother, I don't stand on my dog's hairs up. And that dog's is just for pictures, actually. Exactly. You know, it's Asian, people go, oh, I want to go do an Asian fusion. How many customers ask you Asian fusion? You can do a little bit of infusion to make it like the wrong muzzle, but yeah. no one wants products on their dogs, you know? And some dogs that, if they're not used to it, with the hairspray like that, they will hate it, you know? And obviously, if you're using products in a grooming competition, you would more than likely, I'd like to think, go home and then re rebath that dog exactly. and wash all of those products out. So sending a dog home full of hairspray isn't always a, uh, a good idea. idea. Yes, exactly. So, all the time when you do a round face, I do, what do you do, bitch? This is Dianka, this is my friend from Romania. You don't have oh, you, friends. You do, I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you use hairspray like that. Well, I use sometimes Listen, for you pictures. Can, you, you can, can can use a little bit of hairspray, I think. Or chalk. But or... to get a Westy's head to up, you need quite yeah, a Yeah, you need, to, yeah, yeah. I, I use a little bit of hairspray. Oh, Asian yeah. fusion, yeah, but you it's. I have it's... a really soft coat. I, I, tend to use podium because it's nice and soft and you can brush it through and the hair will still stand up. Yeah, this is podium. It's like a hairspray. It's really tough. It's really nice. Uh, yes, again, in, in Romania, guys, in Romania it's different the style than... In Romania, you don't have a lot of cockapoos. Like, every, all, of, all around Europe. In England, they are crazy cockapoos, but in Europe, it's no a lot Europe of... Europe as well, the clients seem to want breed standard to the T. Like, they want a Westy strip. They want the Foxy strip. So, 
it's different in Europe than it is. And Asian fusion, they want Asian very fusion. La- I think clients are very lazy in this country. They like sort of easy to maintain, short. They don't, they don't necessarily want the dog to look like it looks in a breed standard book. They've chose that breed because they like its characteristics or they like the coat type. Like I have Kerry Blues that come and they don't want the full and that really irritates me. But I have to think, well, they've chose that breed of dog because they like the nature of it or they like the fact that it doesn't molt or the, the fun side of them. They don't necessarily buy that dog because they like the way it's, it's meant and to actually, look. And actually, the survival of the breed is more important. Yeah, exactly. Bit, yeah. What I found, actually, is that we lose the touch of, of like real breed standards because yeah. now in the salons, 90% they're cockapoos and everything makes a poodle. So a European, they become so good with breed standards because this is what they have in the salons. Yeah. Uh, uh, if you go, if you go and have a seminar with Asian fusion, you will see ninety people who are waiting for the Asian fusion. But if you see a seminar with like a, a spaniel or a breed standard, that's you know, I don't know. And they have lots of schnauzers, hand strip schnauzers. I mean, I yeah. have one, one hand strip. I don't have someone. none of them. I don't have any schnauzer hand stripping them. So I think people they need to go also to breed standard seminars. You know, not just yeah. Asian fusion because it's not. Ask all about vision fusion. No, it's nice to know a different style. You know, like a Kerry or I don't know what else. I don't know well, a, yeah. a Beddington, yeah. a Bichon Frise. You know, all this. You have to know that also, not just cockapoos, because also the styles that you apply to your cockapoos, they come from that breeze actually. Yeah, I, I desperately want to do a Beddington. Yeah, I want to do a bed. I had one, and they moved to bloody north. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't do many at all. I've got three. Right. Coco Shih Tzu face. Coco Shih Tzu. <laughs> Shih Tzu face. Right. Oh, God, so don't suggest that as a mix. She thing. wants just long gear. So we bro- we brush them and I use a, um, we use um, uh, the hose I will show you for straightening the hair. Yeah. So we don't use uh, straighteners. So it, the, the one that you've used, is, is it called a fishtail? Yes. Yes. So it's the flat one. Like you would get on your own hair dryer if you were blow drying your hair. So it's very, very um, you don't have thin and narrow. Right? Yeah, Costi wouldn't know because it doesn't dry his Right, I... Uh, he might dry his beard straight. Actually, I was not trying to be mean, but I just noticed that it has a massive knot here. Oh, you're joking. I didn't prep the dog. I she did. prepped the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the so, newbie, I'm allowed to. Okay. Yeah. No, you're not a bloody newbie. <laughs> Listen, it's fine because we can show how we can remove that. Yeah, so I use... That, this is the best. Exactly. Did you have this brush? I love that brush. This is the best We've brush. Over that brush I, I love it. I can eat this brush. It's I never had a brush like this. This is the best dematic, but it's just for dematting. The oh, best dematic brush. Yeah, you wouldn't use it to dry. You know it's for other. But the matting, God, I think they should want to prize this brush. It is very, very it's good. It's amazing this brush, I'm telling you. It's the best brush for dematting dogs I ever tried. Of course with products. But right. So why dematic? Because this brush is bloody amazing. So when I do the face, I'll try to take uh, the ears. Made by the gods, exactly, Kirsty, exactly. Kirsty is our lovely uh, member of Groom Team England. She represents uh, the poodles in the World Championship with us. This is the Artero, and it's... Um... Um, oh, what's, what's it called? Kirsty, what's this? It's P... I forgot the name. If you, you can ask me, but what's the brush called? Um, Kirsty, what's the brush have called? Gonna, have you got it out here? here oh, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm up there. Go, I'll okay. show you a pre box one. This is called the Artero. It's a P. It has a P. Um, the code, it's with the code. By... It says professional line. Well, this is great. Three professional uh, Artero compliment. It's called, a, yeah, it's down the No, middle. Kirsty, it's no. It's like a giant specialty matter. There's a smaller one as well. Okay, we'll oh, write all. Key. Four eight three. Yeah, P four eight three. This is the large one, but I have also a small one that I don't. I'm have. not I... even on the Artero team, and I found that out faster. You what? I said I'm not on the Artero team, and I found the name of this faster than you. Yeah, I forgot because there are so many bloody products that are in my head. I'm so busy, busy. Anyway, it's amazing. I will put all the products also that we use also. That's why I don't want to be this all about Artero. It's also because I like what they use, you know. So that's why we incorporate every products that we use, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, so, Kirsty says something, so, P48 is the medium, yeah, P48-2 is the medium and P48-3 is the large one. 482 and 483, not 482 and 48. Anyway, let's go back to grooming, guys. (laughs) So, sheet to face, like I said, round face, yeah? So, when they have long ears, I will try to, uh, oh my god, you know what they did? I had the poodle, 
I had a poodle with the long ears and then I put some bands on the ears to hide, uh, to cover the ears and it was a black band and I left the dog with the bloody bands in there. The next day, the owner said, oh my God, why? So, <laughs> and also I put it by the skin. So now I never ever put bands close to the skin. I put just on the hair. So I left the bands on the skin like this and the dog left home. Um, and the next day the owner called me, he said, Kosti, my dog, luckily, I found out the, the, he was like crying a little bit and I found that your bands I put there, his hair was so red, I took him straight to the vet. Luckily, they didn't cut the ears. They said, that, he said, if uh, two, uh, three or four hours he had that more, we had to cut the ears. So guys, again, you learn from mistakes. Now I'm like so panicking when I use bands on the ears, yeah? And I learn... Always under the ear. Now. Always under the ears, uh, on the hair, yeah? Because if you forget about the bands, they will not damage the, the uh, hair, the, the skin. But, you know, it happens. So your ear lever ends, and then you... Ideally, you want a good finger space yeah. between the ear lever and the band. Exactly. Mm. But again, I learned from mistakes, you know? I was like, my God. And I always use light ones, yeah? I, always, I color... So I remember when I see them. Don't worry, Chica, I won't let you do it to you. I'll do it on your face. <laughs> That's bad. I'll, I'll put it on your tongue. No. I don't think I would have admitted to that, Kosti. Ah, uh, you see, she will never admit. I will admit because I want you to learn from my mistakes also, yeah? It's good to learn from other people's mistakes. Just loosen that little bit. Now she's panicking. I am. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine now. Yeah, well, I had to do all so, that customer as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Were you? I yeah, know. I was mortified. Right, so I cover the ears. Split ears in half and put Split two. ear in half and put two bands in the each ear. Uh, come to check. Yeah. Yeah, darling. But I was bloody busy. I had to put that put it was so bloody matted. It's that it's not an excuse, but I quite excuses. like this that you've done. I, I never do this either. Can you show the guys what you've done here so, to hold the ears so up? So to hold the ears up, what I did, I put them in the band and then I put them with the nagnus on the nagnus. Yeah? You so now know. it's hiding the ears. So now they're not in my in my space. Right. I never did this dog before, so hopefully. Actually I found, I didn't know, I found this comb. Kirsty, if you can help me, I don't know what this comb is, actually. Look at the, it's so fine. Finest, yeah. I really love. So well. Kicker Lily says it's good to hear you make mistakes because it makes it real. Yes, I never, I never try to lie. And you know guys, even like when I say with the products that I recommend, because that's why I said to girls to recommend your products that you use, because I want people to know other products. I always say, what works for me that might not work for you, you know? So I try to be as natural as possible because I used to go and buy products and things like that that was like, oh my God, it's amazing, amazing, and it never worked for me. Yeah. I was like, oh, I have, you know how many scissors I have? How many combs? Bro I used to have like very expensive brushes and very expensive scissors. Yeah. I give them away because it doesn't work for me. Yeah. But people was like, oh my God, they're amazing. You should try it. So that's why I said, yeah, go try that. See if it works for you. Uh, but also I don't say, oh, the product is rubbish or shit because it didn't work for me. No, yeah, that's right. It's every, personal preference. Exactly, it's perfect. So I'm trying to be as real as possible. If I don't call, uh, I, if a product that from up there doesn't work for me, I will never recommend because it's not work for me. So I'm not sure, but I might work for her. So then I go to and say, can you try this brush? See if you like it or try it to Holly or to well, the girls. You used me, didn't you, the Artero brush? Yeah, I used to the Artero brush. I honestly. love it. Yeah, so I'm trying to be as natural and, and truthful as yeah. possible, you know? I must admit, because I've obviously come here this morning, I've been using the Artero shampoos and they're, they're fine. Yeah. But I usually use um, the Wow brand. And so I'm... Wow brand actually was the previous Colin Taylor products mm -hmm. and they, they are, now it's just Wow bra. Uh, so if you use the Colin Taylor products, now it's Wow. Switch to Wow. Switch actually, to sorry, Wow. It was Colin Taylor grooming. Colin Taylor. Taylor. So now <laughs> Colin has his own brand and then Janet has her own brand and it's called Wow Grooming. <laughs> Yeah. I just I quite like the smell of it, even like the deep clean, which is the sensitive shampoo, because yeah. because he needs sensitive for his skin. I just love the way it, that smells, even though it's sensitive. It's yeah, got amazing it's got a nice, scent to it. I use for all dog kind, and that's the same. They all have a scent, whether they're for sensitive skins mm -hmm. or not. But they're just they're quite um, therapeutic smells. I love mm -hmm. them. They're really lemony and. You see, I that, I don't like that kind oh, of. Oh, I, I haven't it. used it. But I, I just... like the way it makes my salon smell nice. Yeah. Right, so this is a nice comb. 
it's so it's so frustrating to buy so many things and they just not for you. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. I still need to find scissors that. Right, I want to say to people, if you are close to my shop, you can come all the time and try products and see that if you like it. You know, uh, if you are like close to Sherwell or to Holly and they can try their products also, you know, I think they are more than happy yeah. to come and try yeah. their products, you know. So you can come, uh, Kirsty or Alison and yeah. Arthur once, you know, or um, Mitch and blah. Well, this uh, is Kirst the good thing about the events when you can get back to exactly. the competitions is that you can handle the products, you can also get samples, exactly. sample bottles yeah. of shampoos to give them a go. Oh, so even even if you don't compete, you can come to the events and you can try products and you can feel them and touch them and use them and you know. And so you get to meet loads and loads and loads of groups. Exactly. Like this is how I met these uh, bloody mongrels. No, I came here. <laughs> she oh yeah, she came, yeah, she found me. You. You're uh, to be to be your right, so this is a really nice comb. I found it. Uh, uh, Alison sent it to me, and I really love it it's for finishing. And uh, and I found that it's so nice for. You can try it. See if you like it. It's, it's very, it's nice very light. Nice. Very light. I really like it, and I use it like. Yeah, it's very. It's very nice. It's very fine. Yeah, this is what I like because you know it's like really nice compared with this. It's really wide. That's really so nice. this is good for making sure that you've got no tangles. Yeah, yeah. So I've got that. I, it's actually it's not actually any of the the products we've 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 mentioned, but I've got one that's um it's got wide teeth, and then in between the wide teeth and half of it. Oh yeah, I know the this. dematting one. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. It's good. You didn't bring yeah. it here with you. No, I didn't bring well, it. No, I would have shown stupid you. Stupid idea. <laughs> Right, so when you do, so when I did my grooming school, they always say, what length do you do on the body? You should do two sizes on the head. Sometimes it can apply that, but sometimes the head looks too short, especially the type of the coat. So if you want a more round head, you should have more thick, more round on the top of the head and shorter here. Yeah. So I like the length that this dog has on the head, actually. Yeah. It's a nice length and that will create the round already. What did you use on the head? Uh, so I did attach three, attach five, four weeks ago. So this is attach five, that's four weeks ago, yeah? So let's see what actually attach the, is. The regrowth. We can try, let's try with the six. Oh, no, let's try with the, six. oh, with the seven. Because you said it's like... So, there are two types, I don't know how do you do it. So I do back and forward, but I, I was... Well, I would see what way the coat naturally falls. Yeah. So if it parts in the middle, then I would... Flower Coat attachment this side, then this side, and then from just where that part flower. Goes this is back. this is the color flower. So the flower, you find the middle of the head, and then you go down yeah. like a flower. So or, then, if you were using a flower, would you use the same length as the body, or would you use two lengths up still? I yeah, would, let's use. I I tend to go one length up on the head, and like you say, unless they want a nice big head, then two lengths up. If they want short all over. And then, you know, they want a nice tight base. I will use the same length as I've used on the body. So short head, yeah? So it depends, guys, yeah? Because I thought when we go... So when you reverse it, it goes down two lengths. So my... What my thought was, when we go up two lengths, it's because you're reversing it and then it matches it with the rest of the body. I don't reverse the head, so... I don't have so, that's so what I do, I go from the back, down. And then the only thing that I reverse is just in the front of the face. Just here. Because then I, by taking reverse here, allows, doesn't, I don't need to scissor a lot. Yeah. yeah? But I can do the flower and the flower is similar anyway. Yeah, that's what I but do. the only thing the flower, because the flower goes down, then you have to scissor the fringe. I do that. Yeah. So I do reverse and then I don't do, you see, already give yeah. him a natural shape. Yeah? yeah. By doing that. Um, so this is actually, on the head, it's number seven, uh, that is 22 millimeters on the hair. So, so I do like it, I really like it, especially when you have long ears, it's really nice. And it's not taken massive amounts off, but yeah. it's, it's giving the dog a nice round. Yeah, but she used Atash, Atash 5 four weeks ago, so the growth, basically, growth for like that seven. But what does the client want? What's the client want? Well, I just did what I thought. So she did what she thought, so client doesn't So if care. you want to do... Attach seven, that's fine. Right, so I always do really short uh, between the eyes, especially, you know, because they have such a short muzzle. I intend, you see, and if you use scissor, this grows so quickly. Do you know, I actually did use a, a trimmer. Did you? Yeah. You not, know, all, it, not all dogs will tolerate that around their eyes, though. So what, how I do, I put my head in front. 
Yeah, but I have shih tzus that wouldn't tolerate a clipper by their eyes. No way, I have to do it with scissors. I put to number one, the shortest. And also because it's a very, very quiet clipper. So I go from the top of the eye down. You've got to be careful not to fall the little... Good boy. What do they call yeah. those little hobbly bits? <laughs> Oh, so when I go, I go down and I stop where actually the... Yeah, can you pull this a little bit? So I go and I go down and I stop exactly... Oh, good boy. I know, you don't like that. Good boy. So I stop exactly... Uh, I don't know if you can see... Where the ice starts, basically. Yeah? So I don't go down down on, on the... on the bit. Yeah. Oh, you don't go down the nose yet? Yeah. No, down the nose, because I want this hair around here to create the wrong yeah, muscle, yeah? This. And what I do also, I never ever... Where? It's alright, baby. I never ever use scissors in front of the mouth, ever. I always use clippers. Is that for all breeds? For all breeds. Can you do that on a 40 as well? Again, right, so with, he, with the Shih Tzu, I do on a 40, with the Coca Cola, I do on a 7. But you see, he doesn't like it, so we need to be as fast. Imagine if you do that with a scissor and yeah. he doesn't like it. But uh, some uh, dogs won't tolerate that. Yeah, though. some dogs won't, but I prefer to do that. So just fast. be careful, test it out first. Maybe turn the clipper upside down on the dog. Uh, and play With it buzzing, and just see whether Good boy. the dog will tolerate that on their face. Good boy. Right, so again, I'm, I'm really fast in the clip. I have, don't have time. I, bloody hell, I have 10 minutes to feed my dog. What am I doing? I go take, take my touch three. Is this you in rush mode? Yeah, I'm in rush mode. Well, and then, because I don't want to scissor all this bloody sh side of the face, I will take a touch three, the one that I use on the body, and I will do on the cheeks quickly. From the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth, uh, the uh, no, uh, ear. Corner of the ear to the corner of the so, eye. Yeah, just the, ch just the cheeks, and I scoop out. I will do the same this side. And then, I will do the same under the chin. And I'll just say, because you said about using the same principle for a Westie, it's yeah. the same principle in terms I'll use the of the same on round, a Westie, yeah. But you wouldn't do the short cheeks, would you, on a Westie? No, a Westie maybe I will do a blade five. Oh, a touch five. A <laughs> blade five. <laughs> I don't want to touch what my Westie says. Maybe no, just the top. I scissor it. Right. Then. Scissor. Yeah, scissor. Then. I do like to create pockets under the eye. Yeah? Because I like to expose the eyes more. So what I do, lift the eye. So you're just taking off the eyelashes. Eyelashes and also a little bit above the eye. Yeah. So that gives it more expression to the eye. And that's what I've started doing this. Yep. Not as, not as adaptly as you do. But when I'm... you take the eyelashes off of the dog, it almost lifts the hair above it. Yeah. And this is what they do also in Asian fusion, you know, they take, they create pockets and that's why when you look at the Asian uh, uh, fusion pictures, you see that eyes, massive eyes, you know, because they create the pockets, exactly how you create the pockets to a Bichon Fusé, this is what they do with the Bichon Fusé. Yeah, yeah, so this girl is asking, do you create pockets under every dog's eye, no matter the breed? No, one just, no. Because no. Obviously different breeds, different styles. Yeah. So it's more the teddy bear More of a face, round, yeah. More, more of the round, they're more like, if they have like tiny eyes to expose more the eyes, I will do that, you know. And if I have time and I want to create something really pretty, I will do that. You know, so not all the dogs. Because you have some dogs that have like massive eyes, so I, uh, you don't need to do that. But again, that's preference. And then I will take all of this here. You see that's around here. It's good if you do a round face to have a round scissor. This is a, a curved scissor. It's very gentle curve. Yeah, and it, really, it cuts really nice also. It's a uh, slalom. That's very really nice. Yeah, I quite like them. Right, so when I also, it's very important, like I said before. Uh, right, I'll do the corner of the, um, from the corner of the eye to the corner of the muzzle, of the, uh, uh, of the nose. nose. I'll draw around. Oh, God, Kirsty, 
So she said, very helpfully said, three, uh, P304 is the fine volume comb. And then said, sorry, sorted Chris's kids out for the hot tub. Uh, thanks very much for yeah. that. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Rub it in. Rub it in. We're in here and you're in a hot tub. Great. I hope you burn oh, a little bit. Can we move the camera? Which way do you want me to move the camera? Uh, probably a little bit that way. Or maybe a little closer. Right, so... Because I did with attach three here, I'm not bothered on the chicks because the uh, the size of the chicks, I'm happy. So I will do corner corner of the eye. And you've gone shorter here on the cheek area, yeah. you, so that the the um, ears will lay nicely against the face yeah. and not so. Oh, out. it's so be careful of where your hands are because it's when you're doing the face, you're covering the camera. Oh, sorry, right. sorry. Right, and then I'll do the French, pull down everything. And then what I want to see from the corner of the eye, I want to see the eye. We appreciate you giving up your Sunday. Oh, we could appreciate you giving up your Sunday in the sun. Very welcome. Don't Very say welcome. it's sunny. Tell us it's yeah. raining out when there or something. When rain thunder. <laughs> right. So I want the length that's here to be the same length that's under the chin, yeah? It does help you have a, a curve uh, because it's same uh, yeah, it doesn't shape of the curved, face. Um, thinner or chunker, does it? You can, you, I would use a curved, yeah. you know, a, a, a normal curved scissor. Now, yeah. brush everything in the front and everything that's in front of the nose. I will call it. I want to cut everything that's in front of the nose, yeah? Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. So everything in front of the nose, I want to cut it. That's gone. So when it's you gone. look at the dog, nothing. A straight line. And then I'll push all the hair backwards. And you can see oh. all this hair that sticks out here. I'm going to ignore Kirsty right now. Um, so Elizabeth says, where are you? We're in Godalming um, in Surrey. Surrey. Sunny Surrey. Hooray. The snobby Surrey. Snobby Surrey. We're not talking to Kirsty Young anymore. We don't like her very much at the moment. <laughs> Telling us how nice it is. Yeah. Re up north. <laughs> I just thought you wouldn't get that, would you? So you see now, I'm pulling all of them inside of the face. It's very important how you comb. Really, really important. Yeah? How you comb? Yeah. 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 How you comb. Comb, comb, comb. comb. I'm doing so the French. <laughs> I did. I left this hair here. So what I will try, I will try to expose a little bit the eye. Mind your shoulder, darling. Sorry. Is it better? Yep. Yeah. Right so. <laughs> Hi, Kirsty. Also, um, I'm thinking. Also, what I'm thinking, I'm thinking like a uh, square, and then I will cut the edges. Yeah. So I. No, I will confuse more. No. You are. I normally just go straight into the round. Yes. Yeah, I, I bring my round from here. From the corner so, of the eye to the corner yeah, of corner the Yeah, corner of the eye. This one is the corner of the eye. Oh, okay. You've the corner of the mouth. And then I brush everything around, and everything that's in front of the eye, I will cut. But I see because I create the pocket, gives it a. a Big eye also. Mm, nice expression. So you do need this hair here, yeah? So you never take all this hair. And all the time when you check your dog, you put the fingers behind the back and you pull it. Because that, if the dog's excited, it will lift its ears. Lift and its ears. you want to make sure. And see, this is a wrong face. Head is nicely level. So this is how I do it. And then I will let the lovely Cheryl to do the other half. So it'll have an uneven head. That's the hardest head side as well. No, this is the easiest side. Oh, that's all right then. But I don't have... Let me see what I've got. Oh, you can't use my scissors, can you? Yeah. Oh, God, she it's can't fine. use my scissors. I'm adaptable. Come on. Yeah. So I create the pockets so you can expose the eyes more. Yeah. So I brush everything. I, I clip all the sides with a touch free so I didn't, don't bother myself scissoring all the side here. And then when I try to create the, my roundness, it's from the corner of the eye to the corner of the mouth, yeah? I clipped all the hair here, so I don't use the scissors. 
So when I stop with the corner, I will stop right here before where he licks, yeah? So I don't cut it. Then I pull all the hair forward, cut everything that's front of the eye, and then the rest, basically, is just round it. You go round, you see, even now, you can see some hair sticks out. And you can do this like, it's much longer. Sometimes I just stop and I just let the dogs out, go home, yeah? And everything that's under the chin, I'll try to make it, you see like it's in a round area, see? So I lift the hair round. It's basically like a, like you think like the heart, basically, you know? And voila. You want to take over here? Yeah. You want to come here? I need this oh. table lower, I'm not as tall as you. Yeah. Uh, Which one size do you want to come? That's fine, stop. Mm. Yeah, you probably have. This is my awkward side. Oh, what did you say? He always does that. He always does the He easy always takes side. the good side. No, this is my easier side. Really? Also. Right, let me see if. Uh... Actually, no, that is my easy side as well. Yeah, that's my. No, this is my easy side. Yeah, this yeah. is. The... This is your Yeah, but that's because we're right handed. Yeah, yeah we are. So I didn't realise. I've got to come in here. So I'm going to now match what Costi's done. So the same, I clipped this side so she doesn't, she's not bothered. She's already done that, yeah. She's already done, yeah? So that's why the more you do with the clippers, the easier. So I'm just removing this hair in front of the trough area. So you start straight with this, yeah? Yeah. So, but before you, you do the same the, uh, between the eyes and the mouth. So, yeah, I, but I wouldn't clip that. I would, I would. Well, I would if a dog would tolerate it. But normally, I would scissor here, here, and clear across the brow. Main. I, I normally do this with thinners because it gives a softer finish. Yeah. And you don't get the jagged lines that a straight would give you. Yeah. Um, but again, I don't tend to use comb attachments down the sides. I would have. Scissor them, huh? Yeah, so I would have lifted all of this and gone in with my curves and taken all of that out. Now we have got a ball patch up here. Yeah. So we're leaving this hair to cover that. Instructors used to do that at college. What's that, with the trimmers or clippers? Or with the clippers or with the, tri or with the, or with the scissors? Don. Don, the instructor used to do that at the college, but I don't know. If, I don't know what she's referring to. Yeah, clippers so again, or I'm scissors. Bring it all out in front, this dog keeps licking. See, that's why, you see, because the dog is licking, that's why I always um, use, the use the trimmers in yes. front of the mouth, yeah? But also, but you can close you the, can mouth, close the yeah. mouth and hold it, not tight, but just so that you know that the dog is not going to be able to move or poke his tongue out. Don, will you tell us uh, the instructor what they do at the college, with the clippers or with the scissors? Do the, side. Do the ah, easy side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, the yeah, yeah, easy yeah. side. He always Sneaky does it. Always I'm always. telling you, my easy side is this side that she does because I'm a left-handed. She's a right... No, I'm a right-handed. I, I didn't realize, but this is my easy side that yeah. she does now. Yes. For, you know, so... But he's managed to screw it up for her, whereas normally he does it the other well, way Well, you need to suffer. <laughs> it's also really tricky to do a side of a dog that somebody else has done but it looks really beautiful. You've you see, got she's... to level it up. And this dog doesn't have a massive amount of coat. So using but it's a really pair nice. of um, thinning, thinning scissors is a good idea because you can just take off little amounts where you need them rather than going in with a straight. And I'm also he has a nice do. thickness on the coat. He has a nice small muzzle. And actually he, reeks, he has a really pretty face, you know? Mm -hmm. So you don't need to actually work a lot on no. his face. Yeah, you know? just taking very very minimal yeah. off there are some shih tzu oh my god when they have that really horrible face that you struggle all the time and they have that like uh, 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 um, skin here yeah really. and when you try to make the run it's like oh my god because of the skin you can't so sometimes just put the dog on the floor and done you know don't stress too much the owner anyway likes uh, to see the face and the face uh, as long as the they eyes. can see their dog's eyes exactly they yeah. like that. So if you have a nice dog, it can work really nice, like this one, or if you have an, uh, 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 I would say, an ugly dog or ugly shape, don't uh, stress uh, too much. Uh, uh, aesthetic challenge. Aesthetic challenge, like her. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you was going to say that. I was waiting for you to say it about me. <laughs> Such a sod. 
Yeah, rude. do you tell him? Okay, let's have a look. This little one's had enough. So I we're still a little that. heavier here. Should I call his mum? Yes. Yeah, yeah, give her a Don't call. Don't take just the tip off his tail as well. Okay, we'll take the tip off the tail. There's no point. Yes. That's the point. <laughs> just take a tiny amount. Why? We did. <laughs> well done. Well done. Look at my... Oh, stop it. I love to watch myself in the mirror. You don't mean know it. On camera. I've given up a beach day for you for this. She's given up a, a caravan day for me. Like, seriously. Can you tell her what you do now? Oh, well, I've matched what you've done. So you see... So I've combed she... it all up and out so that, obviously, when the dog gets home, it rubs its face all over the sofa. It's not going to have long bits sticking out everywhere. Like a face. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> I will have to shave her with a spectra. So, comb Which... everything down. Wait, wait, wait. Over the eye. You don't want, you... well, as Costi said, you don't want it to go straight up. You want a nice little bit of a visor. Piece. A visor, that's it. Piece so, it's more, you see the corner of the eye and then leave a little bit of visor. When you look from the sides, just you don't to... want to have this. Oh, well, let me see. You don't want to have all of this like this, you know, like like this. You don't want yeah? to be skinny, You want yeah. to have a little bit of advisor because the hair is much longer on the top, so you want to create that. They are laughing. I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> I just need your side. I love you as uh, your face. It's her face. <laughs> Stop being rude. Uh, I dropped my curves the other day. Dog kicked them off the table. Now they're not working properly. Yeah, when you drop curves, goodbye scissors or oh, blades or oh god. I just had them sharpened as well. David just sent them back and off they flew <laughs> off the table. Hey, 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 I'm, uh, you are next, darling. You are next, don't worry. Now from the back, I did notice that it was slightly longer here. So I'm just going to ever so slightly. So let me tell you, Cheryl, she's a bloody wizard of scissoring. She's like... Oh, I prefer to scissor than comb attachment, so I am very... Because she's ancient, that's yeah, why. Yeah, I am old-fashioned, but I'm quick but it's with good. scissors. It's good, because in I that just... time, you didn't have a lot of uh, clippers and all that, so she used to scissor. Like, you, when you see her scissoring her bloody Kerry Blue with the hair like this... I, you saw the picture that I put on the group, guys. Here she is. She's a scissor lady. I do prefer to do most of my... See, my girls, they'll run comb attachments down legs, and I don't like it. I scissor my legs. I run a comb attachment off the legs, but I don't like dogs that are, f no offense to Holly, I wouldn't do this. I would scissor all of that. Okay. Just because I like to just leave a little bit of shape. But, but this is can. a nice even. You can use. It's a nice even Petrum, and it's what the owner yeah. wants. But you can use an attachment seven, and then you just left up and scissor and make it rounder. Um, she's the old style, so she prefer like more scissoring. I'm the new version. Yeah. Where I'm quick and fast and... Mm, and uh, loves himself. And love myself. <laughs> okay, so this dog now has a really, really nice, even face. Just going to take a little bit more out from under this chin. Let me do this a little bit lower. And by doing it with the um, thinning scissors, you get in a much softer finish. Come here, darling. Yeah, you don't want a sharp... Uh, uh... No, you want nice, soft. It's a, you, it's a teddy bear face. Everything has to be soft. Good boy. See, I like to do like, see, all of this, lift it up. Like, especially when you do pictures, you know, some people they use and they have like, uh, yeah. Don't you like this? It's yeah, no, fine enough for yeah, the face. Yeah, I'm just used to my comb. Yeah, use that one. I tell something, whilst you mention photos. See, it's better this one. It, it, it does lift the coat a lot better. I you see? I, guys, it's ridiculous. So go in and just round up. See, mine aren't curved, so I can't cheat like Costi. I have to actually mm -hmm. use my imagination. If you have one. And uh, go in, be creative with a straight pair of scissors. It's something that you always nag me about when just... Mm, you you mentioned but I have a lot of... But this here. just goes to show that you can achieve the same look using... You've used curves... Yeah. I've used straights. Yeah, exactly. But I can use the same curve. I can use a straight and I can do the same things. It's just that it's just when you have them, why you don't you, them. why you should not use them when you have yeah, them, no, you know? Totally. You totally, know? So totally, totally. That's why they made them to help the groomers to be faster. Okay. 
Good boy. Yeah, they don't, they don't want anything off these ear length, do they? Just like a tidy. No, I did, so I did this side already, so, and I wish I took a little bit more than I meant to. Oh, so yeah, yeah. We, I need to blend the back of this head in. So, come here, Daddy. So lift it up, and this is where it's obviously going to Wait, go wait, 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 let me, let me slightly turn. Slightly longer head into the shorter body. So again, I'll take my... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. These are like blenders, really. They're not quite thinners. So you see all this uh, hair that sticks out and you want to blend to be nice into the head. You don't have to take masses off. You Just tidy them. You don't want to see a step from where the occiput is. You don't, you don't want it to literally stop there. Yeah, you're just going to tidy those ends in because the clipper's done most of the work for you. Good boy, good boy. This is obviously tricky as well because you have to take the noose off the dog in order to do this. Just make sure you've got one hand under the dog's chin at all times. I'm extra lucky because there's three of us here. <laughs> yeah, but her Holly doesn't help you at all. She gonna do. She gonna do. She gonna do this. What I'm doing now. So I can see. Ah, oh, don't start, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. That's absolutely right. <laughs> you are horrible, both of them, and then you made me to look horrible. You bring out the worst in us. I've said that already. You do. You smell both of you. <laughs> <laughs> see. You can dry the schnauzer now that bites. I, mean, I don't yes. mind. I dry, I dry so her all the time. Treat for you. All, we've decided because he's like, oh, I've got this schnauzer and he bites. So I said, well, why don't we do him live so that the guys can see how you cope with. A naughty dog. Right, so one. I have... Uh, one second, can you stop one second, guys? Just one second. I, I know, but I'm mortified. Guys, how do I... I don't know how to do that. Right, can I do it? Can I send a link? I need... Uh, Lisa knew, I have to add her. Who is she? Lisa knew, add her in the group, please. Lisa knew. Oh? One second, one second. Less, this is more... Lisa knew. I don't know if you have a... Um, mm. Have a look through. The, have a look. Right, I'm gonna pop the noose back on this dog. So, oh, so the black back of the head, I've just blended in with the thinning scissors, not leaving a great big step from the back of the head into the neck. It all runs smoothly. Anything that sticks out from behind the ear, you can just take your thinning scissors and just take the very tips of them off. Who's there? Costing, it's not so hot in here. It's really hot out the front. They've got the heating zone costing. Is it? Yes. Oh, bloody hell. How do I add this lady? Oh, I well, don't look, know how why to... Why don't you? Just What's her name? Holly, uh, Holly, I love your leggings. Where are they oh, from? Oh, they're groom tech. Groom tech. Look at my leggings also. No, they're horrible. <laughs> look, they're hairy. You are, but I'm a man. Mine are, uh, Her has Groom Team England on them. Thank you. Yeah. Right, so why don't we pause? We're going to get the dog ready for a bath. The guys can go get Right, a so guys, this is a Shih Tzu pretty teddy bear face. I think I will, uh, personally, I will take Let's a little bit more. Uh, tips of this dog's tail off. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. I love your name. Tips. We lost you there. Oh, sorry. It's lost for a minute. So guys, with this, I will actually... If I use a comb, I will actually take a little bit from the French, a little bit more. Yeah. I think it's a little bit heavy, and then in a couple, couple of weeks, this will grow too long, you see? Yeah. So I will take a little bit longer. Actually, I'll do it with pillows to keep the softness. Yeah. I don't know how to match her. Yeah, perfect. Okay. You know, you have to think also, it's a pet, and you know, you have to think like, you, if, if you leave it longer, in a couple of weeks, this will be too heavy, yep. yeah, and it'll cover the eyes. Okay. So, right, so this is it, a teddy bear run, pretty face, with long ears, yeah? Ta-da! I think they, this ear is longer than the other one, no? I didn't trim those. I know, Holly did. No, I needed one. I was going to tell you about that so, this trim that you see now here, I will apply the same thing on the Shih Tzu, on a Westie, on a teddy cockapoo. Right, because so a round face. This ear hasn't been trimmed. Yeah, that ear never been trimmed. So what should Holly uh, so, uh, show we do now? We just tidy the ears a little bit, yeah. You can go straight, or you can cut the corners and then you make like a round ear. Yeah, I did the curved bit. 
Yeah, so I like to curve it a little bit. Yeah, so we'll curve the the. So I will do the same. Yeah. How do you measure to see if that both ears are the same, Holly, uh, Sophie, right, so Cheryl? I like to run my Bloody hands hell. and see which one finishes first. So like this, both stop the same. Or you can get your comb. I think, to be fair, that one is still slightly longer. It's still longer, longer now. I did take a little bit more than I meant to off of it. But sometimes you can correct that by just taking off the front and off of the back. Yeah. Because yeah. always in the back it's a little bit longer all the time. I don't know why. I think how the, hair, the ears yeah. set. Do you always use thin ears uh, to cut ears? No, I tend to use curved I, ones. I, I just grabbed my curves She now. took her curves now. And, uh, yeah, I dropped them, so... The thing is, if you are not uh, sure with your straight and curves, I do recommend to use thinners. Yeah. Uh, it's what you're comfortable with, you know? Cheryl, she's a, she's a wizard of scissoring, so she, she's re really easy with her curved and uh, straights, you know? Mm. Yeah. I hate right. matching ears. Oh, it's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. You see, even Cheryl, after 200 years, uh, she still struggles with her ears. <laughs> Rude. So you can there see that go. even like amazing groomers like Cheryl, we still do strut. We still, we still struggle, 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 you know, too. everyone struggles. So you don't need to be like, oh my God, what am I doing? Oh my God. You know, everyone struggles with something. Yep. No groom is ever perfect. Exactly. You don't have the best groomer in the world. You don't have the, you have Especially the... Costis. Especially costies. Yeah. Especially. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> okay, this is right. done. So we did a touch free all over, and then we do the teddy bear face. We do like seven uh, uh, combat touch, but seven on the head, and we did three on the cheeks and under the chin. Just show them, in case anyone haven't seen the length, the length of this. This is a really fine coat. You see, you can see the skin so quickly, and so I don't want to take too shorter than a touch three, yeah? So if people say, oh, I want shorter, 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 if they want to see the skin, they, you can go with a seven, but I think it's a nice length. Only cause, oh, thank you, Cassia. I'm perfect, you see, I am perfect. Oh, oh see, more reason to He's full of his own BS. <laughs> oh, we are live because we'll say something. Right, so we'll take a little bit of the tail also. Yeah, I've taken just the very, very tips with my thinners to give more of a natural finish. Do you twist the ends? As well? I don't, no, unless I was, if I was taking massive amounts off, then I would. Right. So, guys, I will come back in a minute. You can go have a toilet break and a coffee or something. I will come back with you because we will, we will start, uh, we will start the... Ten, ten, so, when are we coming back? Ten huh? minutes, uh, so ten we'll two. be back at ten two, yeah? Ten two. In ten minutes, we'll be back. Um... We will start the prep on the schnauzer and then we will do the schnauzer and then we'll do the Westie and the last one will be the Spaniel, yeah? And like, everyone can say hello to my baby boy. Hello, handsome boy. Come on to Papa. Oh, say hello, everyone. Say hello. Yeah. Elio. Uh, she, she sees Holly and she cries, cries. Elio. Cry. <laughs> Elio, cry. See Holly. He likes me today. <laughs> say hello. Say, I'll become a, a dog groomer soon. Dream on. Church. <laughs> the banker. <laughs> you become a banker. This is what daddy said. Say that. Say, right, guys, love you lot. And uh, here, boo. You see, when I take, when Kenny take, takes him from me, he will cry. No, 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 no. I go to, go to papa. No. Go to daddy. Ah. I take him. Mm. I love you. Okay. You see? <laughs> You're so he loves me. He loves me. Oh, he loves me. Oh, he loves me. Hi. Come, come here, Say come bye here. Bye. Come. You see, oh, <laughs> you see who loves so more? He loves him more. Right, so that's go the, back to the Shih Tzu. It's always a <laughs> Right, can we do a, a can, you start, can you start at the Shih Tzu, please? Yeah. Right. Pretty face, guys. Any questions you can answer. We can answer now or later or put it on the group, yeah? Can you start with the dog, please? So we can see the face. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Oh, for goodness sake. Bloody hell. He's had enough of being on the table. No, okay, just so that people can see and then I'll put him on the floor. Good to... Chucky! Chica! Chica! It's not Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> yeah, well, she didn't brush it properly, but... Right, right, see you guys, see you in 10 minutes, yeah? Have everyone a break and I will see you in 10 minutes for...
uh, the schnauzer. Yeah? Love you lots. See you in a minute.